Morning everyone. I've just um, tried to do a video with an autocue app called Big Food because I um, really want to make sure that I get this message right and uh, I have been thinking about this for some time. It's, it's really in relation to the channel. So you guys have been sending videos in. I've got about another 30 or 40 at least on WhatsApp. I apologise if I haven't got around to replying to you yet or even looking at the video because there are so many coming in via email and by WhatsApp. If you can, try and send them in video form via WhatsApp. Um, try and keep them to under 10 minutes. I would uh, very much say I'm, I'm working all the time on this, but it is the summer holidays. I'm a single parent with three kids, so please be patient with me. What the, you know, the feedback I'm getting and, and, and where I'm seeing this channel going, you, you may differ, you know, you might have a different view on that and I'd love to hear from you is, but the people that talk about how they're feeling and the impact the situation has had on their lives is, is, is powerful. When you're, you're thinking about um, influencing public opinion, so the public that are watching this, the politicians that are watching this, the media that are watching this channel, it, as it continues to grow, you know, they'll get an idea then of where people are at. And I think that's very, very powerful. So how are you feeling? How has this impacted your life? But also your relationship of trust with a media brand. So at what point did it change? So Jackie, the hairdresser from Burnley, she was the very first person to, to come out and do a video. And she said it was when she read an article by Peter Hitchens in the Mail on Sunday that she started to think, wait, wait a minute, there's something not right here. And it's that journey, I think, we need to catalogue. You know, how did you feel in March? What were your information sources that you trusted? Have they changed? Why have they changed? Where are you at now? That's the message and also solutions. You know, I can keep putting these videos out. You know, I'm sure you get 200, 300, 400, but what are the solutions now? What do you think is gonna work? And it's so important that everyone is welcome on this channel. This has to be a very safe place for all feelings and opinions. You know, that's, otherwise there's just gonna be this divide, you know, these echo chambers everywhere where no one's communicating, debating and, and getting to a place where there may be some solutions. So I have a BBC journalist contacting me and a, a doctor and also a university lecturer, and they are scared to say how they're feeling at the moment because of repercussions. They don't want to be ridiculed or called a conspiracy theorist or they don't want to get into trouble. Um, you know, we've seen doctors struck off for sharing their views, whether they're right or wrong. You know, they've been actually struck off for sharing their views. So would then other doctors want to share their views? You know, that's going to put them off, isn't it? Clearly. So let's create a safe environment where these professionals can come and talk to me. I'd love to do continue to do interviews. And please take a look on the channel. You know, Professor Robert Endress came to me months ago. He was working for Imperial College London and was critical of the science behind Professor Neil Ferguson's report. They both work for Imperial College London. You know, we need to create an environment where if these uh, professors or doctors want to talk, they can. But they have. You know, let's be honest here. Um, I've seen Yale University professors on Fox News or... Um, the frontline American doctors were on Breitbart News. And what happens a lot of the time is people look at the logo of the channel. So they don't listen to the experts. They will view the, the channel first. And I would say, try not to do that. Um, I think media brands are in, in chaos at the moment. And I've seen some of them change direction, uh, such as the Telegraph. You know, there is still some good stuff on, you know, the BBC and Sky is still, there's a little bit of balance, but not enough in my opinion. So um, let's this, let this be a ch channel that, um, that you own as well. That you, you know, I'm, I just feel that continually putting out videos which don't offer solutions is not going to be beneficial to, the, to this channel, to this audience, this community. I'm putting out what you guys are thinking at the moment. But when, when I see a video where someone goes, um, I think that this is, this is what you need to look at. This is the truth. Go to these sources. That isn't useful. We've got that information flooding our media channels. What's useful for this channel? To really direct it, to give it a direction, to give it um, an intent is how are you feeling? How has this impacted your life and those around you? What do you trust? Has it changed when it comes to information sources and what is the solution? I hope that makes sense. If you want to invest in the channel, go to Patreon. Patreon is a place where you can donate a dollar a month. You don't have to. Um, I've got enough now to live off. 
But if I want this to grow, if I want to maybe take on staff, um, then that would be fantastic if you want to invest. And I'll go on there because these people have invested in the channel. If you're actually investing in the channel, then I want to talk to you about where you, what you think the direction of this is. And I've always said, you know, I've done a, an interview on my YouTube channel. Go and have a look at it with a, a, a journalism student. You know, what is um, good journalism all about? It's about, um, it's about values, you know, and it's about apologising when you get things wrong. It's about being balanced, holding um, power to account and... I think I have, I feel, I actually feel uncomfortable doing these videos. I don't really like it. I said that to, to somebody um, who's contacted me, one of the contributors of the channel. She knows who she is. I said, I don't really like these videos. I don't feel comfortable. When I was in television, I, um, I like a lot of girls were pushing for on-screen work. Um, and I did do a lot of presenting. I was a good presenter, but... Now I feel very different. I want to give my channel to you guys. I don't really like being on screen. I don't uh, feel as close to comfortable with it because my opinion is irrelevant, totally irrelevant. And if anyone asks me, you know, what do you think of this? What do you think of that um, privately? Then I'll, I'll share my private views, but they're changing. And I don't think it's relevant. All that matters is what you think and your voice. Um, I can give this channel away to you and your voice. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. I ditched the autocue, big vu. It's called, but it's a free auto queue app if you do want to do a video and you want a script. Um, but uh, it suits me better just to chat to you like this. So I hope you're well, everyone. I'll check in again. Um, some really, in really interesting videos going on the channel and uh, solutions are great. So anyway, take care. Thank you for, for trusting me with your feelings at this interesting, difficult time for a lot of people. And, uh, and let's see where this goes.